Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Few days ago, I made a video about sleep mode in STM32. This video will cover the second topic on low power modes in STM32, and today we will use the stop mode. Stop mode is based on deep sleep mode, and it is more aggressive than the sleep mode. Of course the MCU will consume less current in stop mode, but wake up latency also increases in it. Let's take a look at the datasheet of F446RE controller. As you can see we have many configurations in stop mode. We can stop the main regulator, or power down the flash also, or stop the low power regulator also. I am only going to cover the first one, where we are only going to stop the main regulator. Let's start by creating the project in Cube IDE first. I am using STM32 F446RE board. Give some name to the project, and click finish. In the Cube MX, I am enabling the external crystal for the input clock. Pin PA5 is connected to the onboard LED. I am enabling UART to communicate to the computer. PC13 is selected as external interrupt pin. Now go to GPIO, NVIC tab, and turn on the external interrupt line. Now we will go to the clock setup. I am using external crystal, which is 8 MHz. HSE means high speed external oscillator. I want the MCU to run at 180 MHz. This completes the setup, and let's just save it, so that the code can be generated. This is our main.c file. Let's start writing our program. First of all, I am blinking the LED 20 times at a delay of 200 milliseconds. Next, we will display this string on the serial console before going into the stop mode. Now, just like in the sleep mode, here also we need to suspend the ticks before going into stop mode, or else, the cystic interrupt will wake the device up. And now finally we will enter the stop mode. HAL power enter stop mode takes two parameters. Let's take a look at this function. The regulator can be configured as if we want to keep the main regulator on, or keep the low power regulator on. I am choosing the later one for low current consumption. I am choosing the entry mode as WFI, so as to wake from sleep, using the interrupt.
After wake up from the stop mode, first of all we must reconfigure the system clocks. This is because the main regulator was turned off, and we must initialize all the clocks again. Next, we will resume the Sysdic, so that we can work with HAL delay. I am blinking the LED here, every 2 seconds, to indicate the wake up. And finally this string will be sent to the console. Let's build this code now. I am using Hercules for the serial console. I will directly run the code, as we can't debug in the stop mode. Once the board is reset, the LED will toggle few times before going into the stop mode. The string is printed on the console, and the controller is in the stop mode now. Once I press the button, external interrupt gets triggered, and MCU will wake up from sleep. You can see the LED blinking every 2 seconds. And finally, the string gets printed on the console. If I reset the MCU, same thing will happen again. Now I am going to write the external interrupt callback function. I am going to resume both of these functions here. And this string is to confirm that the MCU is waking up from the external interrupt. Looks like I got the warning about the callback function. Ok we are good to go now. We can also wake up the MCU using the RTC interrupt. This is the vital part of this tutorial, as we are going to use it in the standby mode also. First, set up the values of, asynchronous prescalar divider, and synchronous prescalar divider. Let's take a look at the datasheet again. This is the formula to calculate the S pre clock. To obtain the 1 Hz of S pre clock, the values are 128 and 256 for 32.768 kHz clock, which are already set by default. So we will leave it as it is. In the wake up section, select the internal wake up. And make sure that you turn on the interrupt.
Here I am not changing anything. We don't care about the current time, as it's going to be a periodic wake up. Leave the wake up counter to zero, we are going to set it in the code itself. In the NVIC tab, do the cross check, if all the interrupts are active. Let's save this, and we will go back to our main file. Here is our RTC initialization function. First, copy this wakeup function, and comment it out from here. We will paste it in our main function. Now, we need to do the calculation for the counter value. I took this calculation part, from the examples in the SD folder. This part is self-explanatory, and I will just show you the calculation. I am going to set the wake up period of 10 seconds. This value is 16, and we need to divide it by LSI, which in my case is 32 kilohertz. Now we need to divide the 10 seconds by this result, and then convert the value to the hex format. And finally, feed this value to the counter. Rest of the functions will remain same. I will just modify this string for better indication. Just like the external interrupt, we are going to write the RTC wakeup callback function. Copy this entire code, and paste it here. Modify this string. After the MCU wakes up, we must deactivate the periodic wake-up, or else the callback function will keep executing every 10 seconds. Let's build this now. No errors, so we are good to go. Run the program. As you can see, the LED blinks few time, the string got printed, the MCU have entered the stop mode now. You can time the video, and wait for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the string from RTC callback is printed, MCU is awake, and LED is blinking every one second. And finally, the string in the main function is printed. Let's reset the MCU, and this time I will wake it by using the external interrupt pin. Now even after 10 seconds, the periodic task is not going to run, because it got disabled in the main loop, after the MCU wakes up.
Now, let's take a look at the last part of this tutorial, that is, the sleep on exit function. I did covered it the sleep mode also. Before entering the stop mode, just enable the sleep on exit. These callback functions are the only functions that are going to execute, as this is the interrupt operation only. As soon as the control comes out of the interrupt, MCU will enter the stop mode. The MCU have entered the stop mode. We will wait for 10 seconds for the RTC interrupt. It wakes up. After executing the interrupt, the MCU will go back to the stop mode. We will wait for another 10 seconds to see this. We can wake the MCU using the external interrupt also. The RTC wake up is periodic because the control never comes back to the main function, and that's why the RTC wake up is never deactivated. I will modify this operation a little. If the wake up is from external interrupt, Let's disable the sleep on exit. And I am changing this time to 5 seconds, as 10 seconds is too long. Remember, if the control reaches main function, the RTC wake up will be disabled, and rest of this code will work. Let's run this program now. The LED blinks few times, string gets printed, and the MCU enters the stop mode. We will wait for the RTC periodic wake up now. 5 seconds later, the MCU wakes up, processes the interrupt, and go back to sleep. This will keep happening until we press the button. Now the sleep on exit is disabled, so the rest of the functions in the main will execute now. Also note that the RTC periodic wake up is deactivated, as that was one of the instructions in the main function. And if we wait for another 5 seconds or so, nothing happens. This is it guys. I hope you understood the stop mode. I will cover standby mode in the upcoming video. By the way, the current consumption during stop mode was around 0.18 mA, compared to 1.8 mA in sleep mode, and 36 mA during normal run. You can download the code from the link in the description. Have a nice day.